hydroxyl radicals generated by any means are known to cause more than 80 different kinds of base damages there are 80 different ways by which these hydroxyl radicals can damage DNA bases two of the oxidized base products are 8 oxoguanine which is called oxo G and thymine glycol 8 oxoguanine can base pair with adenine or cytosine and if it is uncorrected this 8 oxo G a base pair because this 8 oxo G pairs with base pairs with a this base pair will be replicated to form a TA base pair thus uh, causing a transversion mutation because in this uh, G is replaced by T so this is transversion mutation on the other hand thymine glycol doesn't cause any transition or transversion mutations but it, it inhibits DNA replication and is therefore cytotoxic hydroxyl radicals produced by the Fenton reaction are tend to be more widely dispersed than those produced by ionizing radiations and therefore they are much less likely to produce double stranded breaks because they are uh, more dispersed they are less concentrated so they don't cause double stranded breaks while in case of uh, the hydroxyl radicals produced by uh, ionizing radiations they are more concentrated and they cause double stranded breaks cells can uh, repair uh, single stranded breaks easily but uh, uh, the repair of double stranded breaks are very difficult for the cells reactive oxygen species can also convert various biomolecules which are un otherwise unreactive into reactive species that can damage DNA so many biomolecules which are not reactive and uh, uh, which cannot damage DNA but these reactive oxygen species can convert those biomolecules to reactive species so those biomolecules can also damage DNA this is uh, a sort of indirect damage for example poly unsaturated fatty acid oxidation produces two aldehyde products and these are melon dialdehyde and four hydroxy noninal which contribute to base damage so in this way these biomolecules which were otherwise uh, uh, not damaging the DNA they can damage DNA and cause mutations.